five days until Viridius Baby arrives. Hey guys and girls, what's going on? Viridia here. And uh, today, unfortunately, I'm having to do post commentary over this uh, section of the video because um, for some reason my computer is a uh, little shit. And it decides to change my microphone at will. Uh, it'll, it'll change it to my my uh, onboard, uh, you know, laptop mic, and it'll just fuck it up. So this is post commentary. Sorry about that, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna be telling you pretty much exactly what I told you live, because in my when I did this live, I was actually sorry about the squeaky chair. It's bad, but I was talking about a dream that I had. Oh God. I, you know, my baby is almost here, and I keep having dreams, and some of them are really fucked up dreams, and, uh, so I was going to tell you about some of those, um, and there's actually quite a few times in this episode where I just run around and do absolutely nothing just for the fact that I'm telling the stories, but, uh, we're almost done with this game, and it is getting very, very close to being complete. We've got two more areas. We actually have two more areas to unlock, um, but those areas you don't really do a whole bunch in those 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 parts. Uh, plus, I'm not going to be doing all the side missions just because I just don't feel like it, honestly. Uh, the powers and whatnot just they're just not phasing me here. I, I don't know. I, I see the we've got. I mean, I'm there. I'm looking to see what we get to do, and I'm just like, nah, I'm not going to do any side missions really. I I figure we can go on without them. So let's let the story play out a bit here. Oh, there is no way Crash plane. Away from this one. Or copter. Hey, old man! Breathing in here? Who the hell is he? What the hell is that sound? Hell? So at this part... I was actually doing something. I think I was looking at my phone or, or something, and so I accidentally failed the mission. Um, I don't know where I was going. I was just like, fuck. And then I, right here I was looking at it again, and I was I was just like, wow, that's, that's something. I failed it without even trying, so my bad. Um, anyway, so now we're going to get into the mission. Now, this is a pretty cool mission in the game. Uh, smoke starts flooding the fucking street, you run over there and- OH SHIT! It is the nastiest vagina face you ever want to see. And if you've never seen a vagina, just don't imagine the teeth there, and that's pretty much what it looks like. <laughs> it just looks like a fucking monster oh, face. <laughs> that's not true. Nothing. Anyway, I, uh, <laughs> I refer to this guy as, uh, vagina. The gigantic evil vagina, because that's pretty much what he is. At this point, I'm like, this is retarded. I'm gonna, uh, I can't use that, uh, I can't use that scythe bolt. I'm gonna have to go with the alpha. Oh shit! I was raging pretty hard at the fact that this computer fucked up my audio. Yeah, I guess it wore me out. I guess I get worn out when I rage. But anyway, I was having this dream the other night that. I mean, because here's the thing, it's just like, when I, when I, when I have something on my mind all the time, I think this is the same with anybody, they dream about it. Well, my dreams are normally fucking bad or messed up anyway, and, uh, I mean, so, in the mission, let me get back to this, in, in the mission, obviously, what you gotta do is just shoot the fucking glowing or purple shit. That's all you gotta do. Just run and shoot. But, uh, I, I had this dream, and it was, it's the first dream that I've ever been mad when I woke up. Uh, as somebody. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I had a dream. So basically, in, in the dream, I, uh, we were in the hospital, and we were about to, you know, have my son, and I was in the, I was in the, the delivery room with my wife, and then, uh, all of a sudden, I just wake up. In my dream, I wake up. And I'm in her, I'm in the bedroom, waiting with her, and the bedroom looks a lot like my room. I guess I couldn't imagine a real doctor's office. But anyway, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, what the fuck? I just woke up. I just, I was just in there with Brittany. She was having the kid, and then boom, I'm out, and then I wake up. So I look at her, I'm like, what happened? What the fuck happened? 
And she's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, what the fuck happened? We were having a baby. And she's like, we, we did. Not, so I, like, felt her stomach. Her stomach was flat, you know, which isn't even true. It doesn't get flat, you know, immediately. But I, I felt it, and her stomach was flat. And I was like, what happened? Why, 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 why what the hell? Why didn't you tell me, or, or, or what happened? Did I, I just fell asleep. And, uh, you know, she couldn't explain it. So I, I, like, walk outside, my two younger brothers are standing there. And I'm like, what the fuck happened? You know, what? Where's, where's my baby? Did you guys see him? And, you know, they're like, yeah. And I was like, you saw my baby. I didn't get to see my baby. And they're like, yeah. I was like, where the fuck is he? And they're like, he's in the incubation thing or whatever. Here I'm trying to... Somebody was telling me I was a dumbass because this move was uh, super effective, but I'm still uh, lacking to see how this is more effective than Quo's ice jump. Anyway, so I, I, uh, I get back in and... Uh, and my younger brother Preston's standing there, and he's scared, and I'm like, I'm like, listen, motherfucker, you better show me the baby. So he takes me into the incubation room, or whatever it's called, I, and I don't know the exact name of which I need to figure out, because there's just one thing about me. If I don't know, I, I need to, I, I feel like such a dumbass when I walk into that fucking doctor's office. They're all, you know, my, my wife and, and her OB, they're all talking and, and, and whatnot, and I don't know what the hell they're talking about. So I have to go home and read about it and shit figure it out, so I gotta figure out what an incubation room's called, but, um, so I get in there, and I'm like, okay, where is he, and when I walk into the incubation room, it looks like a fucking baseball card shop, like, there's no incubation chambers, there's just shelves everywhere that you can, like, pull out drawers, and I'm like, where are the fucking babies, and my brother runs over to one of the drawers, he pulls it out, and sure as shit, there's incubators inside the drawers, like, they store them in the wall. No shit. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Where's my baby? So he's like, I don't know. Pull he's pulling out the drawers trying to find him. I'm like, you don't remember what the... And I'm, I'm mad at Preston. I'm not mad at my brother. I'm mad at him, not Brittany. Or the doctor. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing, man? Where you, you just saw my baby. You don't know where he's at. So I'm mad because he can't find him because he's an idiot in the dream. And, um... And all of a sudden, like, a doctor opens the door. He's like, uh, Mr... You know, Mr. Bradley, would you like to, uh, come here, I have your baby in here. So I was like, you know, show me my fucking baby. And I walk into his office, and then there's two normal incubation chambers, and he's laying in the bed. But I don't know, I have no idea what the fuck, you know, that was about. I really have no clue. It was fucked up. Babies didn't even look like babies, they looked like just miniature, like, humans. I don't know, it was weird. I have some fucked up dreams. I'm sure you guys do too. I'm sure you guys can tell me about some messed up dreams yet. But that was just one in particular. And, uh... Jesus Christ. I, I don't know. I just hope that doesn't ever <laughs> transpire. It's fucked up. I'm gonna tell you right now, <clears throat> I'm absolutely hating this commentary. Uh, doing this after the fact. Because I'm sitting here watching myself play rather than actually playing. And the stinking gas. The howling. Let's listen to the story. It was nothing compared to the filth inside. Bertrand. I alone saw his true face. Oh! Oh, that guy can run all he wants. It doesn't matter. I know his secret. And I am coming. Yeah. Wouldn't you want to keep the fact that you were a huge fucking carnivorous vagina monster away from all your friends. I would. But, um... Hey, man. Bertrand yeah, in any case, town. I... I'm guessing you want to head on over. I'll get the Transformers ready for you. Yeah. I'm sorry if this is a little uh, out of sync or something, because, you know, I've never really ever done one of these before. But, uh, I've never done a post-commentary, so... Uh, at this point in the uh, gameplay, I'm sitting there t telling you about my dream, honestly. And that's why I'm going to be running around not doing anything for the, for the next couple of minutes. I'm just going to sit there and be skipping around like a little bitch. Um, you know what? I think because I did that, I'm going to edit this part out. I'll, I'll, I'll see you when we get to the next mission. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait. We did a, we did a side mission. I went ahead and did a, a stupid side mission. I just killed you. I'll, 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 I'll get back to you when we get there. Rebels again ready to okay, so now we're at the side mission. I wanted to cut that out because that was like five minutes of me doing nothing. 
And now Nyx is going to be telling us to go, s I guess, to fuck up some shit. I thought she was telling me to save somebody. Again, I was talking. I wasn't listening to what she was saying. So, kind of screw this up. But anyway, see how I'm just fucking around with this bird flutter? I don't know. If you guys, the only way you could say that was an insanely good power is if you never had the ice jump. And I guess I didn't explain it very well. The ice jump is basically like you do that. You hold the exact same button, but a fucking ice pillar throws you into the air and lets you fucking hover to the building. So see that building in front of me there? Wouldn't even have to fucking climb it. I just fucking use the ice jump. And boom, I'm at the top. I don't, what the fuck am I doing? I'm such a fucking dumbass. Like, this is so horrible to have to sit here and re-fucking re talk over this because, like, you know, if I wasn't... If I was talking live, you'd be listening to what I was saying rather than watching what I was doing. So instead, I kill all the innocent people because I... I don't know. For fun. And then I throw them off. What am I doing? What, I don't even remember what the fuck I was saying. I was just like, I just did this like an hour and a half ago, and I can't remember what the hell's going on. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. Stupid. He <laughs> kicked him off the building. Just fuck him. But, um, yeah, you know, I've been thinking a lot about it. I, 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 I'm, I'm excited that I, I'm going to have a kid coming, but it's going to definitely be putting a hindrance on my views, or my videos, rather, um, for sure, um, I won't be able to do as many videos, and that's, that's, that is a shame, but, uh, you know, that's just one of the, one of the things that's gonna happen, um, but I know you guys will be patient with me, and, uh, and definitely help out, I, I tell you what I'm gonna do, I think I'm going to end this video now, and I'm gonna re-commentate the second one as well, um, uh, at a different time. Actually, no, no, no. We gotta, we gotta take out the copter. Now, this took me forever because the fucker kept hiding behind the damn. Uh, he kept hiding behind the damn building. So it was pissing me off. So I was trying to pick up a car. I was actually trying to find him. And then I'm gonna hit him with a car because that's the best way to kill those things. But we're in such a tight corridor here with all the fucking buildings. You can't get a good lead on him. He just, he, yeah, here, here I think I have, I'm trying to lead the shot, but, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't continue moving until I've thrown the car. Just like I knew he would. Now I'm standing in fire. I don't know what else to say. This is horrible, I could never do this. I could never do this. I don't see how people do it. They sit there and commentate their videos after they recorded them, because they think it's easier. It's not easier, it's harder. You don't have anything to talk about. You're literally just sitting here watching your own dumbass gameplay. Hit it! And look at that. Look at that throw. It just fucking flung way over the building. And we'll walk around, and he finally fucking comes into view right here, and we can get him. Finally. Jesus. Bullshit. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I want to say, I want to say peace out to a good friend of mine. Um, his name is Eric. He just passed away today in a car wreck, so I want to say condolences to his family. And I'm sorry, man, that she had to go out that way. But uh, we'll see you someday, bub. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you later.